Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about modern data ecosystem, right? So basically in the reference of data analytics, we are going to talk, right? That how data analytics and modern ecosystems can benefit the businesses. So modern data ecosystems for data analytics typically comprises various components and technologies that enable organization to effectively capture, store, process, analyze and visualize the data, right? So you can see the process effectively capture the data after capturing the data, they need to store it. After that, they need to process it. After that, they need to analyze it. And after that, they need to visualize it, right? So all these particular steps includes various algorithms, hardwares, softwares. So basically combination of this hardware, software, algorithms and all these tools, we can comprise them as an data ecosystem. If you know the simple word ecosystem and if I tell you that we are having some rainforest, right? Some animals, some birds, right some sources of water and these are going to form an ecosystem right like amazon jungles and many more right you know about it so similarly in the reference of data analytics you know that how big data is and to visualize that we need such kind of tools right which are going to capture store process analyze and visualize according to the need now further if we are going to explore the term data ecosystem refers to programming languages packages that is apis and many more things algorithms cloud computing services and general infrastructure and organization uses to collect store analyze and leverage data this is the definition from harvard business school right so the meaning is same how you are going to collect the data, how you are going to store them, how you are going to analyze them and then leverage, right? So ultimately from raw data, you need some meaningful data. And for this process, in meanwhile, you are having some algorithms, you are having some softwares, you are having some hardware, some important tools and many more things that all are part of this data ecosystem right or we can say that modern data ecosystems if we are talking about the latest emerging technologies in it right some of the key elements of a modern data ecosystems from the point of data analytics are data sources data integration data storage data processing data governance data analytics tools data analyst techniques data visualization data decam de democratization and advanced analytics so one by one we are going to explore this and we are going to learn the important key elements of modern data ecosystems right so the first one is data sources so it is a key element of modern data ecosystem and data sources are the systems or applications and devices that generate or collect the data Data sources can include customer relationship management like CRM or it can be ERP system or it can be transactional databases. It can be web application. It can be social media platform. It can be IoT internet of things based on some sensors and many more things. So all the devices, all the applications, all the algorithms via which we are collecting the data, via which we are generating the data or collecting the data, all are under this data sources right it can be application it can be any software and it can be like this transactional database so like that right now the second key element is data integration data from different sources often needs to be integrated into a unified format for analysis isn't it yes data integration tools and techniques are used to extract transform and load the data right etl etl is a keyword here that is extract transform and load the data from 
disparate sources into a centralized data repository or you can call it as a data lake or data repository right so you will have some data from many sources from various sources you will have data right from various sources you will have your data so definitely there is a need to transform it because if you are going to store them in a data lake or data repository that is centralized control the format should be same it should be unified right so you are going to apply some algorithms or some tools here so data integration is the second key element right now the third one is data storage so a modern data ecosystem typically involves storing data in a scalable and flexible format this can include traditional relational database like RDBMS right or MongoDB, NoSQL databases, cloud-based data warehouses or like Amazon Redshift or Google Big Queries or distributed file systems like Apache Hadoop right. So these are the key elements data storage right. Basically uh, they, these are scalable and flexible format and these include these techniques with the help of which you are going to store them effectively right so at the time of need you can access them just by uh, simple commands thereafter there is a data processing to analyze large volumes of data efficiently distributed computing frameworks like apache spark or apache hadoop may produce are commonly used right because if you want to process the data that is very very much in abundance Definitely you need some frameworks like Apache Spark or Apache Hadoop that has been normally used, right? This framework enabled parallel processing of data across clusters of computers, which allows them for high performance data processing and analytics for further users, right? So this is the uh, one, one of the key elements that is data processing. We are processing the data, right? There are data governance. Data governance ensures the availability, integrity, privacy and security of data within an organization. So let's say you have collected some, some employees data. It might be in the form of survey, feedback or anything, right? So if you are collecting the data, right? So data governance says that you must have the integrity in it, right? The format should be same. It should be, if it is stored somewhere, it should have the uh, unified uh, directory, right? And you must have to ensure the privacy you must have to let know the uh, users who have gave the data that uh, for this purpose we are using the data and this would be the consequences right and you must have to ensure security from yourself that this is how you are going to protect the data of users right so it involves establishing policies processes and controls to manage data effectively comply with regulations and maintain data quality Data governance framework and tools help organizations ensure the reliability of their data analytics process, right? So these tools help organizations to ensure reliability of their data analytic process so that uh, it would be smoother. Data analytics tools, it is also one of the key element of uh, modern data ecosystems. Analytics tools, right? There are many more tools. A wide range of tools and technology exists for data analytics, including programming languages such as Python or R, statistical packages, business intelligence BI tools, just like Power BI or Tableau, data visualization tool and machine learning platforms. And these tools enable organizations to extract insights, discover the hidden patterns and make data driven decisions, right? So data analytics tools help to find out the hidden patterns, hidden information that can be one of the useful information for the business perspective, right? That may save the cost, that may give the higher returns and many more things can be there that can improve the process, right? So data analytic tools, one of the key element of data modern, uh, data, modern data analytics. Thereafter data analysis techniques, Data analytics encompasses various techniques, including descriptive analytics, summarizing historical data, diagnostic analytics, identifying the causes of past events, predictive analytics, forecasting future outcomes, and prescriptive analytics, providing recommendations or optimization strategies. 
basically these are types of data analytics which we have discussed in lecture one in lecture one we have discussed what are various data analytics type types of data analytics right so descriptive predictive right prescriptive so we have already discussed them i hope um, and diagnostic right so these four four types of data analytics techniques we have already covered in lecture one you can watch them right the link is mentioned in the description section and before moving i am also requesting you guys please do subscribe it would great help us for making much more lectures for you which is going to be in the form of useful PPTs and useful important points like this that is definitely going to helpful for you. What you can do while each slide I am reading and I am explaining it, you can just pause the video, write them and definitely this could be one of the best notes that can you make for the data analytics, right? So you can do like that. But do like the video, stay tuned, subscribe, share with your friends also so that collaboratively we can work together for the betterment of society right organizations employ these techniques to gain insights detect anomalies predict trends and optimize business processes so data analytics uh, analysis techniques are there and uh, what has the what has happened in the future why it is happened what can be happened in the uh, what what has happened in the past based on that we are just predicting what can be happened in the future based on why it is happened so these all kind of things can be considered under data analysis techniques right and then data visualization so data visualization is a crucial for effectively communicating insights and finding from data analysis modern data ecosystems leverage interactive and intuitive visualization tool to present data in meaningful ways, enabling stakeholders to understand and interpret the results easily. So visualizing the data, it's, it is very, very important and crucial for communicating what information is there in the data. That is data analysis, right? So modern data ecosystem leverage very interactively in it. And whatever is the, whoever is the stakeholder, if you want to explain them with the help of easy graphs, easy bar charts, right? With the help of some lining charts you can explain it so for that data visualization is the technique right basically uh, it is going to collect the useful data from the raw data and you can represent them effectively so that everybody can understand the results very very easily in the forms of charts bar graphs and picture pictorial forms right data democratization so the next key element is data democratization data democratization aims to make data and analytics accessible to a wider audience within an organization and this involves providing self-service analytics capabilities intuitive dashboards and tools that empower business users and domain experts to explore and analyze data without heavy reliance on it or data science teams right so basically to make the data accessible to a wider audience within an organization so we can use this key element and then advanced analytics so advanced analytics techniques such as machine learning and ai are increasingly being incorporated into modern data ecosystems and these techniques enable organizations to leverage complex algorithms and models to uncover hidden patterns into the data to make predictions automate the decision making process and to gain a competitive advantage right so basically this can uh, help us for uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, this can help us this process can help us for getting the higher returns right for higher returns in the industry we can go for that for cost savings definitely for that we can use it for speedy marketing for speed marketing right for speed marketing we can use it for customer engagement for customer engagement and you can say that for process improvement for process improvement so these are some of the benefits of using these key elements in modern data uh, ecosystem right so if i am going to make the final conclusion of this uh, modern data ecosystem uh, uh, topic which we have discussed briefly uh, modern data ecosystem for data analytics 
इन कैंपस इज डेटा इंटीग्रेशन स्टोरेज प्रोसेसिंग गवर्नेंस एनालिटिक्स टूल्स विजुअलाइजेशन डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन एंड एडवांस्ड एनालिटिक्स टेक्निक्स एंड दिस कंपोनेंट्स वर्क टुगेदर टू इनेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू एक्सट्रैक्ट वैल्यूएबल इंसाइट्स एंड डेटा ड्रिवन डिसीजन मेकिंग राइट सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सट्रैक्ट वैल्यूएबल इंसाइट्स फ्रॉम द डेटा एंड वाई फॉर मेकिंग डेटा ड्रिवन डिसीजन मेकिंग दैट कैन मेक टू टेक डिसीजन इजिली बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा right okay so this is about modern data ecosystems and in our next lecture we are going to discuss the next topics like uh, applications of data analytics and uh, many more topics which are going to make your foundation of data analytics right so for making foundation of data analytics much more stronger we are going to discuss some more topics and thereafter we are going to cover each lecture sequentially one by one so that this series can definitely help full for the understanding how data analytics works right so guys this is a lecture link in the form of barcode where you can get subscribe and get all the lectures uh, basically it is nothing but the youtube channel link which you are going to get freely you can use them like share and if you are having any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section Have a very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat